Everybody's talking at me I don't hear words you're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stopping still I can't see their faces Albert Hallows, the professor Prof he went down for organised burglary on a big scale. How did he escape from Arley? He developed an infected gallbladder and he was in a lot of pain. Or so he said. They admitted him to Leeds General for surgery. And then, on well, the night before the operation, well, he... He walked. Well, what makes you think he'd come back here, Sergeant? Well, maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's holed up in Leeds somewhere, but... He told a cellmate he got a score to settle with us. Sergeant Miller in particular. And I'm not taking any chances. I'm going where the sun keeps shining Through the pouring rain Going where the weather suits my clothes Mrs. Jowett, what can I get you? Oscar Blaketon, please. Oh, crikey. Um, Oscar's away. What? What's this? A mess! That's what this is. There's a big charity dinner dance on Friday at the Danes Hotel, and I've been asked formally to represent the council. It's rather an honour, actually. Dawn here promised me faithfully that Oscar would agree. Uh, agree to what? Oh, I need a suitable escort, someone who will dignify the proceedings and, of course, lead the dancing with me. He's away on a golfing trip. Look, look, don't worry about it, Mrs Joe. I'll, I'll find you another escort. Guide's on her. If there are any tickets left, why don't I organise a table? It's been ages since I've had an excuse to dress up. I'll be back later. Could I have one of those tickets for the dance, please, Gina? <laughs> I never had you down as a dancing man. <laughs> I watched on the telly. I never miss it. My nan's dead keen, too. Shula says I've got two left feet, though. Well, I could sort that out for you, Jeff. Can you? Well, yeah, I've been ballroom dancing since I was ten. Look, I'd love to teach you, Jeff. I mean, I taught my Uncle Norman the fox trot and he had a false leg. <laughs> This is the man you saw on the bus? Yes. You're absolutely certain? Yes. <sighs> Look, we know he's in Aidensfield. He won't take long to get under lock and key. If Hallows reckons he has a score to settle... Mm, that was just an old man's ego talking. He wants us to look stupid, pull something off right under our noses. You won't have time. We'll get him long before. I'm starting a house to house and I'll need everyone you can spare. Younger's on leave at the moment, but he's around. I'll warn him he might be brought in. B and B till Saturday. Yes. Yeah, we can do that. And the name is Terry Maxton. It is Terry, isn't it? <laughs> Mike Maxton's son. It's Mrs. Armstrong, your dad's friend. Do you remember me? No. <laughs> Pretty Peggy. <laughs> I can't. It be. is. <laughs> it's me. I had forgotten you used to call me that. <laughs> Happy day. Pretty eh? Peggy. Uh, we're quite a while ago, David. I heard you're in London now, in business. Uh, I've got a couple of shops, <laughs> things for the home, you know. Um, I'm actually on a buying trip. I found this fantastic artist in Whitby. So, uh, well, I thought I'd make a sentimental journey of it, see if I could dig out some more local craftsmen. <laughs> what sort of things are you after? Well, let me show you. Now, you might not believe it, but this stuff fetches an absolute fortune on the King's Road. Double crossing spy, die! Uh, uh, bang! Uh, 
Shoot! Gotcha! Bill, Nikki, T, coming! Hey, Mrs. Jowie. What can I get you? I told you I'd find someone. A man with a respected position in the community who'd be honoured to escort you. No. No, it's impossible. I, I couldn't be seen with someone of no rank. I, anyway, I'm, I'm old enough to be... Well, his aunt, anyway. I understand it. Just... No, 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 you don't, Jeff. Look, I'll be spending all day tomorrow on him and I'll get him up to scratch, I promise. He, he'll whirl you around that dance floor like Lionel Blair, wouldn't you? Yes. A brandy, please, Gina. Are you an escaped convict? <laughs> a convict? That's a good one, Sonny. <laughs> no, no, I'm just an old man, rather tired. We decided to have a rest in your barn. I'm all, uh, I'll be on my way now. I'll fetch Dad. He can drive you home. Uh, no, no, there's no need to go to any trouble. And uh, you don't need to mention this to anyone, do you? You can't fool us. You're hiding, aren't you? You spy? Clever boys. You clever, clever boys. The word's out in the village, and between us, Weatherby and I have covered the Whitby Road. And I've got a backup officers coming in first thing. We're going to use the police house as a base. Right. We need to know what he's thinking. So the slightest thing out of the ordinary, Mason. The slightest thing. Are you a Russian? Certainly not. I'm a loyal subject of Her Majesty the Queen. In fact, she sent me here. Herself. In person. It's very delicate. Secret mission. Is that why you're in your pyjamas? Is this a disguise? I am what is called a sleeper. Have you got a code name? Are you loyal subjects to Her Majesty? Then I'm going out on a limb here. Men call me the Prof, short for the Professor. There's an ancient treasure belonging to the Queen hidden somewhere around here. And there's a reward for whoever helps me find it. We could help you. No, son, no. You haven't signed the Official Secrets Act. We could, though. We could sign in blood. Hmm. No pen. Hang on. When you sign this, you will be an official agent of Her Majesty working with me. It's a solemn oath. You break the Official Secrets Act, you will be hanged for high treason. Good lads. Now remember, England expects every man to do his duty. said, primitive pops are all the rage nowadays, and we've still got that old kiln in the house. Now, Deepa, dig deeper, you get your scum here. Oh. Oh. David! 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 Oh. Oh, no. David! David! Well, there's obviously plenty of clay left, even if it has closed. Ernie said we could take what we like. So come on, start digging. <laughs> Debbie! <laughs> oh, Debbie. You all right? Any luck finding the prof? Not so far. <laughs> I remember him. 
Phil, I'll put them away. <laughs> yeah, you're quite a hit, Don. Kids seem to like me. Well, while they're at this age, anyway. So, Gina, is, um, is everything hooked on? There's things you do because you have to do them. And things you do because they're fun. So why don't I get us both a nice cup of coffee and a cake? And let's make this you checking in on me something we both enjoy, eh? It's Dad's best. He only wears it to weddings. It's very good. You've done very well. I'll let Her Majesty know. Ow. Oh, secret radio transmission. Can we see? No. But she's given me some very interesting information about the treasure. It seems there's a map in Aidensfield, hidden in the home of somebody well off who's away at the moment. An enemy agent. There's an enemy agent in Aidensfield. Our enemies are everywhere, 0012. We never know who. And it's never someone you suspect. But it's usually somebody rich and away at the time. Our enemies are having a big meeting soon in Vladivostok. Well, it's, um, it's very good of you to let us rehearse here, Mr Scripps. Actually, Dawn didn't give me much choice. Well, we're going to need the room if Jess's going to sweep me off my feet. Right, should we start off with the basic waltz, then? Right, um, you're not going to be watching, are you, Mr Scripps? Of course not. Right, OK, basics first. You put this arm on my back. <laughs> no, Jeff, that's my waist. Just a bit higher. Oh. There we go. OK, put your other arm like so. Yep, that's right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what? <laughs> you're the man, okay? Remember, you're in charge. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Right, and again. You ready? And what? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> it's not like this on Come Dancing, is it? <clears throat> I mean, they're all so controlled, so cool. Look, Jeff, relax. You're doing fine, okay? And oh, that should keep you going for a while. I'll drive. You two in the back. PC Mason, is something wrong? Routine inquiries, Mrs. Gracie. Have you seen this man around at all? No, sorry. But I've not been around much. Sir Adrian's due back at the weekend and I'm behind with the spring clean. I'd like to check your outbuildings if I may. No, we don't usually lock it. The boys play in here a lot. I'll just have a look around, if that's all right with you. Who's there? Show yourself! Oh. Bill, Mickey. Come down here, you two. I need to ask you something. Have either of you seen this man hanging around the village? Near here, maybe? No. Sorry. Never seen him before. No? Oh. OK. Here you are, David. The Potter's Wheel, just like the interlude on telly. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to... Well, I can't, can I? I've got to go and get the glazers and all the thingies. Come on, it's all in the book. It can't be that hard. Go on. Be inspired. It's no good. Look, you're just trying too hard. Close your eyes. Right, now really feel the music, OK? Just feel it. And again. You ready? And... One, two, three. One, two, three. That's better, Jeff. Right, round again. Awesome. One, two, three. One, two, three. Round. Any 
luck. Not yet, but I'm glad you stopped. I've been looking for you. Oh? Yeah, there's this Italian in Whitby, the Sorrento. I've heard it's really good. Me too, but isn't it really expensive? Oh, what the hell? Let's live a little. OK. Yeah, I'd like that. Thanks, Joe. Why don't you come to this dinner dance? Yeah. Yeah, if I can. OK. You cannot imagine the trouble I've had. I had to go all the way to... David. There. The, the beautiful. Daughter. Oh, that's sweet of her. June loves you, Mam's Jam. Thank her for me, will you? And tell her I'll be back tomorrow. She could be going to see her daughter. Or she could be going to... Vladivostok! Try one of the uh, the Latin dancers, like the tango or, or the bossa nova. Well, you've got to be aggressive in the tango, Jeff. You know, dominant like a caged beast. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Dude, now, now take your time. Steady! Fine art, this. If the temperature is too low, the glaze will not take. If the temperature is too high, then the pot will come out brittle. That's about right. Hey, David, that's a good job done. We're in business. Anyway, you said this was a one off. Right? Yeah, but well, obviously, if Terry Maxton likes what we produce. <laughs> You said this was a one-off. A couple of days' work, you said. Good boy, Mickey. Is this it? I was expecting something grander. You said it would be somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Look, Matt Prof, look. Oh, yeah. Well done, Mickey. Treasure map. Welcome to Scarborough. Right, you two cut along home. I've got to do things you're not cleared to witness. And we'll rendezvous back at the barn after dark. And, uh, take something for your trouble. We can't do that. That's stealing. This is an enemy house, remember? Anything that weakens the enemy pleases HM. See? Go on. Sparky, it's me. Me, the prof, you great puddin'. Hey? Oh, no, it's hard to keep us criminal masterminds incarcerated for long. Hey, listen, I'll be by in a day or two when I've got some stuff to shift. Be ready. Ta da. My 
turn, I think. I hate to break up the party, Jeff, but I need you to help out. House to house. Yes, of course. He's on leave. Emergency. Sorry. I hope this isn't going to happen tomorrow night. PC Yoga has a civic engagement. No, she's the enemy. She's still stealing. We were obeying orders. <laughs> Look! It's plastic or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the right map. Now, look, don't be downhearted. These things happen. What we're looking for is in a much bigger house somewhere. Can you think of anyone uh, rich, perhaps, who's away at the moment? There's Sir Adrian, I suppose, at the manor. Mum does his cleaning. The manor? Davenport Manor. Mum's got keys. Now, this chimes with some other information I've got. For Her Majesty's sake, I must get into Davenport Manor as soon as possible. Your mission is to get me the keys. Ashley Police Station. How's it going with Dawn? Oh, well. She says, I have wonderful natural rhythm and instinctive technique. Does she now? Yeah. Hey, you're in there. Well, no, I, I don't think she meant... Did she? Mrs Halloran, Chestnut Cottage. She's been burgled. Everything all right? I had Mrs Chivers on the phone, says you're an hour late picking her up from the station. Yeah, I'll... I slept in. It's not like you. And something about handprints. Yeah, all over our new white vanity case and all. I've, I've tried to clean them off and I think I've made things worse. Oh, I've, I've been up most of the night making pots for Aunt Peggy. She said it was going to be a one-off, but I she gone and she's shown what I've done to that Mr Maxon in the pub and he's gone and ordered another dozen. But by tonight, and, and another two dozen every month. Oh, well, I, I know, I, I just I hate the feeling of the clay. It's all slimy and horrible. You can't let it interfere with your work. You'll have to talk to her. Well, she's not a listener, is she? My grandmother always used to say, he is a best open by hand. Yeah, what does that mean, then? Not altogether sure. Mrs Halloran's burglary is a professional job. It's all small stuff. Cash, jewellery. Easily portable. Just Hannah's his style. Though, I don't know how a man in his condition could have gotten through the kitchen window. I'll send in Caesar Crime. Check the prints. Also, one weird thing. Two pieces of wax fruit were taken. Wax fruit? Where's wax fruit these days? Oh, they were stolen in a burglary. Mrs Halloran's pride and joy, apparently. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Just brought your ticket for the dinner dance. What's this? A uh, charity do at the Danes tonight. There might be a spare if No, you... no, I wouldn't want to cramp anyone's style. It's looking less and less likely I'll make it, Carol. Sorry. Oh, well, that's a shame. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll leave the ticket with you anyway. Mm. Maybe see you tonight? Yeah, thanks. What? Nothing. I was just wondering. Which one of you gets to wear the uniform? Maybe neither of us. Sorry I'm late. I had to wait for Mum to get back. Where's your brother? Sick. He's been throwing up all night. It's disgusting. Here. The keys to the manor. The big one's for the kitchen door and the little one for the burglar alarm. And, uh, your Mum's car? I'll go after dark. I'll stay here till then. You'll stay strong, won't you? You can trust me, Prof. Of course I can. You're a right little soldier of the Queen, aren't you? You've been brought up to believe in it all. The 
sickness will last about 24 hours and he'll feel ropey for about a week or so. But keep him warm and give him lots of water. I'll pop back in again tomorrow, but give me a call if he seems to be getting any worse. Mickey? Where did you get this? Oh, thanks, Sher. You read my mind. That was scenes of crime. Hallow's prints are all over the cottage. He wasn't being careful. I expect he thinks he's got nothing to lose. There were children's fingerprints in the kitchen. And according to Mrs Halloran, that means kids in the house for years. Drink your tea, I'll get it. Into it, please. We don't think they're criminals, Mrs Gracie, but we think they've got themselves mixed up with someone who is. The man that we've been looking for. But they both said they hadn't seen him. They're honest boys. Oh, Lord, what a mess. So if we could have a word? Mickey's ill in bed. I've only just got him to sleep. Jack's sitting with him. I don't know where Bill is. We'll want to conduct a thorough search of the farm and all your outbuildings. I'm here! Yeah. Billy! Go on, handcuff me. I broke into Mrs Alrand's. I'm the one you're looking for. Why did you break in? This isn't a game, Bill. Where's Albert Hallows? Billy, talk to them. I think we'll go to the station. Mrs Gracie, if you'd come with us, your husband can stay here and look after Mickey, but I will need to question him in due course. Mason, gather up some other officers and search the entire farm. Nervous, are you? Oh, no, no, um, more uh, anticipatory, I think. Oh. Hmm. oh, my, my, you two do scrub up well. I don't know, it's a bit tight on me. You know, that's something Chris you keep eating, just keep your shawl on and no one will notice, will they? <laughs> hey! You look lovely, Gina. Thank you, Bernie. Well, if you want to see lovely, just you wait. What, have I put my lipstick on crooked or something? Oh, Carol. Bernie, you all right? Oh, take no notice. Beautiful women make him go silly. Always have done. Oh, Bernie. Oh, Joe said to tell you that he won't be able to make it, Carol, and he's, he's very sorry. Oh. Well, don't we all look nice? The mayoral car awaits. Geoffrey? Uh, uh, right, um... Well, uh, shall we, Mrs. Jowett? You should ask Geoffrey to dance. He's an animal on the dance floor. <laughs> right, Alf. You sure you're going to be OK? Oh, don't fret. Little Phil and I will get better acquainted. You go and enjoy yourself. We will. See you later. This man is a dangerous criminal. If you know where he is, you need to tell us. Please, sweetheart. What about you, Mrs Gracie? Do you know the penalty for harbouring a criminal? I didn't know anything about it. So you say, but the evidence suggests otherwise. Now, I think you're in cahoots with Albert Hallows. I think you're fencing the jewellery he stole from Mrs Halloran. I think it's one big plot. Stop it! Leave it be. It's nothing to do with Mum. Then tell us, Bill. I can't. I can't. Why not, son? I promised the prof. Now, we'll take that six over to Terry tonight, and then we'll drop this new lot off in the morning. Hey. We'll have to get another kill. We can't get much in this one. There we are. Come on, David. David? What's up 
with you. You're away with the fairies. Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Ears are best opened by hand. By heck, David. I haven't heard anybody say that since before the war. What does it mean? Um, actions speak louder than words, something like that. Now, come on, let's get down that pub. He's a criminal, Bill. You're not bound by any promise you made him. Why did you break into Mrs. Halloran's? Can you tell us that? What are you afraid of, Billy? I don't want them to hang me. What? People aren't hanged anymore, Bill. They are for treason. We signed the Official Secrets Act. Happy birthday, Albert. Come on, sugar. Let me take you by the hand. Your a lovely little fella. Yes, he is. Now then, Peggy, we don't want to give him nightmares. Oh, he's not frightened. He's laughing. Peggy. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, there they are. Sticks here. There'll be more for you first thing. I'll bring them over before you go. All right, well, we'll settle up then, shall we? Oh, these... Oh, yes, they're beautiful. I don't suppose I could see your operation. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it an opera. Well, why not, Terry? In fact, why not now? Our David will drive us over. Oh, right. <laughs> um, could you bring my hat? Yeah. Burden and Mrs. Halloran is hardly rubbing our nose in it. He's up to something else. Maybe, but unless we can get the boy to talk. The Official Secrets Act, I ask you. The Official Secrets Act? Yeah, the boy thinks he signed it. He won't say a thing. Would you let me talk to him? That was wonderful, Geoffrey. Made me feel 
21 again. Oh. Really? Crikey. Sh shall we carry on? Oh, you've done your duty. No need to dance with me all evening, not with all these pretty young girls here. Unless you'd like to, of course. I'll go and ask Dawn, then. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Look, I know it's not a ladies, excuse me, but would you like to dance? Uh, uh, yes. You were hungry, weren't you? Can I make a chip? Mmm, <laughs> they're good. I hear it when they're soggy, don't you? Yeah. Does the prof like chips too? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to pry. It's hard, isn't it? Once you've signed the act. I'm always getting muddled up about what I can say and who I can say it to. You've signed it too? I shouldn't have said anything. Sorry. Are you an agent, then? Have you been looking for enemy spies? In the police? Yes. And I can tell you, there are no traitors at this station. Good. Is there any news? Has the prof found the map? You like it, don't you? She's wonderful. The way she's taught me to dance and everything, I mean. I think you should cut in. Oh, no. No, no, I could. Of course you could. I think she'd like it. Excuse me. Could I, uh... Thank you. You have to make do with me, I'm afraid. Hallows is at Davenport Manor. He's got keys. Apparently, he's looking for treasure. I bet he is. Whether be radio all units. Bar and gets a drink, will you? Gin and tea. Yeah, of course. Thank okay. Well, Mason, go back outside, cover the front of the house. I'd give it up if I were you. Sing anymore, are you, Bernie? No, you're all right. Don't I'm not kidding. Me. Hands were everywhere. It's the same with me. Push a little blighter. Yeah, and you're old enough to be his mother. <laughs> no, certainly I'm not. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Just because a man can move you around the dance floor, he thinks he's got dibs on you. He's got ideas well above himself, that one has. Wouldn't touch a little rump with a barge pole if there was last man in Yorkshire. 
Oh, hello, Jeff. That was quick. Oh. Go after him, then. Why? Oh, I don't think I met him, did I? talking about you. I wasn't. I was moaning about that lech. But I, I like you. I feel safe with you. Yeah. Look, we're mates, aren't we? Good mates. Yeah. Yeah, we're mates. I really need to go to the gents now, Dawn. Okay. You couldn't resist, could you, Hallows? Boasting. Pity it was a bit premature. Oh, well, here's to the next time. I don't think so. What brought you back, Hallows? People like you, my dear. And the look on your face right now, smug, oh, so smug. He had the same look on his face when I was sent down. For years, I've made coppers, good coppers, look like mugs. I couldn't let a provincial oaf put one over on me, could I? And it would have worked if it hadn't been for my stupid gallbladder. We'd still have caught you. If you need to believe that, lady, you believe it. I walked out of that hospital ward and nobody looked at me twice. I thought, right, time for a bit more fun. A last hurrah. A bit of fun. You corrupted two young boys. Corrupted them? They had a wonderful time. A whopping great adventure. I don't want crime seen as adventure. But it is... Oh. 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 All right, go on. Take me back to the hospital. Patch me up. Ready for next time. But don't go pious on me. I did those kids no harm. I'd like you to prove that. It is quite a small operation, Terry. That way we can ensure that the quality is consistent. Prof! Why have they handcuffed you? Oh, don't worry. It's all part of the master plan. How's 0012? Still puking. I've got a message for you from HM. She'd like to give you a medal in recognition of your service. But the treasure's still too secret. I understand. Is it...? Found, yeah. And you are now released from the Official Secrets Act. And Her Majesty requests that you tell the police everything and anything that you know. I will. I'd better go now. I've got an appointment. With the Queen? Oh, yes. And I can safely say it'll be Her Majesty's pleasure. I tried to explain to Terry that it was just a minor setback, but he got quite rude. Oh, I do hate it when folk won't listen. Well, well you, know, you know what they say, Aunt Peg? Ears are best opened by hand. Too true, David. <laughs> wow, you look amazing. Oh, thanks. Mm, it's quite a night. Turns out Jeff is officially the most eligible bachelor in Yorkshire. Oh, yeah. Jeff? It's quite a man on the dance floor. Hope you're as impressive. Yeah, I have a few moves that I think you might enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, uh, I booked that table for us for Saturday night at the Italian in Whitby. All oh, right, look forward to it. Yeah, it should be good. Fine food, good company. Dark-eyed Italian waiters. Oh? Well, they're no competition for me. No? Why is that, then? Well, I, I could tell you, but um, let's wait till Saturday. I'll show you instead. Help the police? You've got a nerve. Oh, it's all right. The ambulance is here. 